Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last month, at the beginning of February, I posted a video that Google had officially announced its direct competitor to Microsoft's artificial intelligence chatbot, ChatGPT, and the Google competitor is called BARD, which is spelled B-A-R-D, and also brings AR, artificial intelligence features, to the Google search engine. And uh, that was a month and a half ago, give or take. And uh, um, just to let you know that now on the um, 21st of March, Google has announced that starting on the 21st, they are now opening access to BARD, beginning with the US and the UK. So um, that means it's only available at the stage on a controlled rollout to users in the US and the UK who join the waiting list. And as you can see, as yet, um, isn't currently supported in my region, but nonetheless will expand to more countries and languages over time. According to Google, who says that BARD is an early experiment that lets you collaborate with generative AR. So it's still early days and it's still in preview and can also boost your productivity, accelerate your ideas and fuel your curiosity. So it's a very similar concept to what's going on over in the Microsoft camp with Microsoft's new Bing chat. Now, um, if we just head over to a couple of screenshots uh, taken from that announcement, which will just give us a better idea as to more or less what to expect when the feature does become more widely available. Um, Google says that a BARD is powered by a research large language model, LLM for short, specifically a lightweight and optimized version of the large language model and will be updated with newer, more capable models over time. So as mentioned, it's still an experimental preview version, so um, mistakes are expected. So if we zoom in here, um, you can see that the small print reads, BARD may display inaccurate or offensive information that doesn't represent Google's views. So uh, is open to uh, mistakes at this stage because it's still in early preview. And according to um, Google and what you should expect when it does um, roll out to your region, they say, and I'm quoting this, that BARD is a direct interface to an LLM and we think of it as a complementary experience to Google search. So BARD isn't going to be replacing Google search. It's just a complementary feature um, to Google search. So just be aware of that. And they carry on to say that BARD is designed so that you can easily visit search to check its responses or explore sources across the web. What you need to do is um, you need to click on the Google it. That's that little tab, Google it. And that will be to see suggestions for queries and search will open in a new tab so you can find relevant results and dig deeper. And Google um, says they will also be thoughtfully integrating LLMs into search in a deeper way, more to come. So it's still early days, but nonetheless, um, BARD is starting to roll out to a limited subset of users in the US and the UK, as mentioned. And um, if you are in those regions, you will have to join the waiting list, which is this page. Um, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And um, you're not seeing the waiting list here because obviously my region isn't supported, but I'll leave this down below where you can uh, sign up with your uh, Google email address, join the waiting list. And uh, um, at this stage though, um, Google doesn't give an estimated time though when you will get access to BART. So it's not known exactly when you will get access, but uh, you will get a confirmation email um, sent to you immediately saying that you are on the waiting list and obviously when um, it does become available, Google will send you an email to confirm that you have early access to BARD, which is um, their direct competitor now to the new Bing chat over in the Microsoft camp. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.